Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, the ratio of two numbers is 3 is to 4. If each number be increased by 2, the ratio becomes 7 is to 9. Find the numbers. So how to do these kind of problems? The simple method is, you can just assume the numbers be equal to 3x and 4x. Then when you are increasing by 2, so 3x plus 2 and 4x plus 2, your new ratio becomes equal to 7 by 9. So you can cross multiply solve for x and from there you will be able to find out the two numbers so even though this is simple it is a lengthy method so here i am going to explain a shortcut method for finding answer to these kind of questions this is also very common for competitive exams so how to solve this it's a very interesting method so what is the given question there the two numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 so that is why we took here 3x and 4x be the numbers so the ratio will be maintained and 3x and 4x are the numbers. Then a 2 is added to each number. So to the numerator as well as the denominator, 2 is added. Okay. So two numbers x by y is given as 3 by 4. Okay. So just I am explaining the question. x by y is equal to 3 by 4 means. Next, both these numbers are just added by 2. x plus 2 divided by y plus 2 is equal to 7 by 9. And from that you have to find out what is x and what is y so this is what is happening the two numbers x and y are in the ratio of 3 is to 4 each number x is also increased by 2 y is also increased by 2 so your final ratio becomes 7 is to 9 you have to find out the numbers so this is one way of doing if you are assuming 3x and 4x are the numbers then 3x plus 2 divided by 4x plus 2 will be giving you the final ratio 7 by 9. And from that you can cross multiply and you can just find out x. And from that you can solve. And your numbers will be 3x and 4x. That is one method of doing. One shortcut method is 3 is to 4 is the initial ratio. The final ratio is 7 is to 9. So what you have to do is that you have to find out the difference between the numbers in the ratio numbers in the ratio means in every ratio the first number is known as antecedent so this number is known as antecedent and your next number is known as consequent okay so antecedent and consequent now in your final ratio what is the difference between antecedent and consequent so in this question what is the difference between antecedent and consequent it is equal to 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. So 2 is the difference. Okay. Antecedent minus consequent or what is the difference between antecedent and consequent in your final ratio. So 9 minus 7 is equal to 2. Your initial ratio also you have to change in such a way that the difference remains 2 or the difference becomes 2. You have to convert this 3 is to 4. Now what is the difference between antecedent and consequent in the initial ratio? In the initial ratio, the difference between antecedent and consequent is 1. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So, you have to make it as 2. Because in your final ratio, the difference between antecedent and consequent is 2. So, your aim is to convert 3 is to 4 to a ratio such that the difference between the antecedent and consequent becomes equal to 2. How you can do that? You can just multiply by 2 and convert the ratio. So you will be getting initial ratio will become. So initial ratio will be equal to 6 is to 8. You are multiplying 3 into 2 and 4 into 2. So now your difference between antecedent and consequent is equal to 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. So now you can just compare. Your initial ratio is equal to 6 is to 8. And your final ratio is equal to 7 is to 9. So what is happening to the ratios? If you see here, 6 plus 1 is giving you 7 and 8 plus 1 is giving you 9. So, plus 1 is the difference. 6 plus 1 7 and 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So, this 1 difference is equivalent to 2 in the question. It is given each number is increased by 2. Each number is increased by 2 it is given. So, actually when the ratio 1 is getting added to the ratio, in the question it means that it is increased by 2. So, your actual numbers will be 6 into 2 and 8 into 2. So, you will be getting your numbers are 12 and 16. Okay. So, in the ratio, initial ratio, for changing initial ratio to final ratio, the difference is just 1. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 and 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So, this 1 is equivalent to 2. This 1 is equivalent to 2 in the question. In the question it is given, 
the each number is increased by 2 only we will be getting the final ratio 7 is to 9 initial ratio for converting initial ratio to final ratio you have to add by 2 so 1 is equivalent to 2 so you have to multiply 6 into 2 and 8 into 2 in order to get the actual numbers so we will understand more as we go to the second question so we will see more examples to be thorough with this method so let's go to example number 2 the ratio of two numbers is 3 is to 4 if each number be increased by 6 the ratio becomes 4 is to 5 find the numbers so what is the initial ratio so initial ratio is equal to 3 is to 4 and what is the final ratio so final ratio is equal to 4 is to 5 you have to find out the numbers and how do we get the final ratio from initial ratio you have to add 6 when you add 6 to each number you will be getting the final ratio from the initial ratio so what is the first method or what is the first step the first step is you have to find out the difference between the antecedent and the consequent in the final ratio so here in the final ratio what is the difference between antecedent and consequent 5 minus 4 which is equal to 1. Now you have to check the initial ratio. In initial ratio what is the difference between the antecedent and the consequent. Here the difference is given as 4 minus 3 that is also equal to 1. So since the differences are same you need not do anything. So here if the difference was a different number if it was 2 or if it was 3 or something else means you should convert so that the difference between the antecedent and the consequent is the same as that in the final ratio. The difference should be same. The difference between the antecedent and the consequent in the initial ratio and the final ratio should be same. So that is the first step. You have to convert the difference as same. So here the difference is already same. So you need not do anything. So now what is happening? 3 plus 1 is giving you 4 and 4 plus 1 is giving you 5. So plus 1. When you are just adding 1, you will be getting the final ratio from the initial ratio. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and 4 plus 1 is equal to 6. So this is equivalent to 6. The question it is given, when each number is increased by 6 only, you will be able to convert initial ratio to final ratio. So what are your actual numbers? Actual numbers should be equal to 3 into 6 and 4 into 6. Then only you will be getting correct. Otherwise, if 3 and 4 are the numbers means, even when 1 is added, you will be getting the final ratio from the initial ratio. But you have to add 6. That means the numbers should be multiplied by 6. So 3 into 6 and 4 into 6 are your numbers or 18 and 24 are the required numbers. Question number 3. Two numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 5. If each increased by 10, the ratio between the two numbers so formed is 5 is to 7. Find the original numbers. So what is the given question? The initial ratio is given and the final ratio is also given. Initial ratio is equal to 3 is to 5. And what is the final ratio? Final ratio is equal to 5 is to 7. And when 10 is added to the numbers only, you will be able to convert initial ratio to final ratio. So 3 is to 5 will be converted to 5 is to 7 by adding 10 to both numerator and denominator. You have to find the original numbers. So what is the first step? You have to find out the difference between antecedent and consequent in both the initial ratio and the final ratio. So in the final ratio what is the difference? The difference between the antecedent and consequent is equal to 7 minus 5 which is equal to 2. And what about the initial ratio? Initial ratio the difference between the antecedent and the consequent is equal to 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2. So the difference is same. The difference between the antecedent and consequent is same in both the initial ratio and the final ratio. So that step we can skip. The second step was to convert the difference as same. Here the difference is already same. So no need to convert or you can proceed with your next step. So what is the next step? How do you get from initial ratio to final ratio plus 2? 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So your 2 is equivalent to 10. If each is increased by 10 only you will be getting the final ratio from the initial ratio. So 2 is equivalent to 10. So 2 is equivalent to 10 means 1 is equivalent to 5. So how you will be getting the actual numbers 3 into 5 and 5 into 5 will be your actual numbers or your original numbers. So 15 and 25 are the original numbers. So once you are thorough with this method, within seconds you will be able to find out your answer. So last question, two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3. 
if 4 is added to both numbers, the ratio becomes 5 is to 7. Find the difference between numbers. So, only when you are able to find out the numbers, you will be able to find the difference. So, what is the question? So, the initial ratio is equal to 2 is to 3 and your final ratio is equal to 5 is to 7. So, it is given when 4 is added to both numbers, you will be able to convert initial ratio to final ratio. You have to find the difference between the numbers. So, what is your first step? In the first step, you have to find out the difference between the antecedent and the consequent in both the initial ratio and the final ratio. In the final ratio, the difference is equal to 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 and your initial ratio difference is equal to 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, the difference is not same. In the final ratio, the difference between the antecedent and the consequent is equal to 2 but in initial ratio, the difference is only 1. So, first step is to convert the difference as same. So, here the difference should become equal to 2. If the difference should be equal to 2, you have to multiply with 2. So, your initial ratio becomes 4 is to 6 and your final ratio is equal to 5 is to 7. So, now it became equal 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. You just have to multiply the both terms of the ratio 2 and 3 with 2. Then your difference will be equal to 2. So, 2 into 2 and 3 into 2 which gives you 4 is to 6 and your final ratio is equal to 5 is to 7. So, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So, your 1 is equivalent to 4. Your 1 is equivalent to 4. Only when 4 is added to both the numbers, you will be able to get final ratio from the initial ratio. So, 1 is equivalent to 4. So, your original numbers will be equal to 4 into 4 and 6 into 4. What do you have to find out? You have to find out the difference between the numbers. So, what is the difference between 4 into 4 and 6 into 4? The difference will be equal to 2 into 4. So, even without thinking what are the numbers, you can very well say what is the difference. The difference will be equal to 2 into 4 which is equal to 8. Thank you for watching.